This is the Magwheel T2. It is a one-wheeled board, kind of like an electric skateboard that is often compared to the one wheel. Here you can see me trying to ride it for the very first time. So yeah, I'm not very good. I do want to point out a couple things. The first thing is that Magwheel did send this to me for free to do this review. The second thing is that while this is often compared to the one wheel, I've never actually been on a one wheel, so I can't give that one to one comparison. Let's show what you can expect out of the box. Much, feet, most, better, partner couple so this is obviously from china i thought that was kind of fun i don't know what they're trying to do here the mag wheel it is pretty big and heavy the weight comes from the aluminum frame the battery and the 1000 watt motor so i tried carrying it a few times without the handle i do not recommend that now i just put the handle on and i leave the handle on all the time and it is much easier to carry there's a power button on one side and a charging port on the other side. Both sides have LEDs that light up depending on what direction you are going. When learning how to ride this magwheel, I decided I would try it on the grass, which seems safer, you know, because it's grass. But now that I am more comfortable on it, I realized it was probably harder to learn this way, but I still think it's not a bad idea just for safety. Learning how to ride the magwheel reminded me a lot of the first time I learned how to ride a hoverboard it was a bit awkward at first but the more you get on it obviously the more comfortable you will be on it and the more you understand how to ride it you'll notice here when i was learning how to ride it there's quite a bit of wobble this was the first thing i had to learn to overcome eventually i found that just trying to balance upright made it harder when i just tried to immediately go after getting up i found that to be a lot easier for me i had my brother try this as well he had some of the same experiences as me the first time he got on it but i think once we both got on the cement it was a lot easier for us to learn how to ride i think most people would be pretty comfortable riding this after about 30 minutes of practice the second time for me trying to learn how to ride this was in the back of an elementary school on asphalt i felt much more comfortable riding the only issues i had at this point was i was still going pretty slow and going over some of these tar strips that you would see i would occasionally get a bit of wobble especially on the bigger ones i'm still not comfortable enough to go very fast but on flat level areas like this trail i feel really comfortable and like i am in control and i can start carving a little bit more so what are my thoughts so so far on this magwell i've been on a lot of electric skateboards and i've been on a lot of hoverboards and in my opinion while there are some similarities it's quite different from both i would say i feel like i have a lot more control on both a hoverboard and an electric skateboard but i think the magwell is actually quite a bit more fun it's nice kind of going back and forth and trying to carve pretend like you're surfing or something i really enjoy the magwell but I don't feel quite as comfortable on it yet. The things I haven't liked about the Magwheel so far is cracks or bumps seem to really make it wobble and they make me not feel totally comfortable on this. I don't feel comfortable going at fast speeds because in case I hit a bump or something, I'm afraid that wobble will make me fall off and quite frankly, I don't want to. From other videos I've seen, this seems to be one of the biggest differences from the Magwheel to the One Wheel. It could probably be programmed to be a little bit different but until i've been on a one wheel i don't really know what is best and one other thing i didn't really like about the magwheel is i don't really see a good way to go up or down hills because the magwheel works with you shifting your feet at different angles when you're going up a hill the nose of the magwheel is really close to the asphalt and sometimes scrapes against it which really makes it hard to go up hills Overall, the Magwheel's been a lot of fun so far, but I'm still not very good at it. So I do plan on doing a follow-up video after I've been on it a lot more and am more comfortable on it to see how I've progressed. If there's any questions you have about the Magwheel or anything you want me to try, let me know in the comment section below, and I will be sure to include that in my next video. And I have a link posted below if you want to check out the current price. Thanks for watching.